after our trip to New England and about 20,000 miles. It's time to change the fuel filters. We have the secondary one here. filters on Amazon. This here is the primary filter. Comes with a gasket. Change that one first. And this is the secondary. Three ports. So give us a few minutes and we'll get to it. open. Now this container I'm putting this diesel fuel in also is used for the motor oil for the truck. Alright, she's almost drained. Should do it. Okay, let's take that base cover off. There are five of these bolts. Okay, that's the side facing outward. Here's the other side. And as you can see, pretty filthy. So this here, you just slide it, and she pops right off. Next, we want to take out this 
gasket. They do supply you a new one. And as you can see, this filter is um, way overdue. A lot of crap in there. Go to a lot of truck stops. That could be it, or just a local. But bottom line, it's filthy. Gotta go. Okay, let me get a rag. We'll clean this up. said they supplied a new gasket along with the filter. And there does not appear to be a top and a bottom. This goes in the groove here in the base. Seems to match. Tabs, bottom end, nipples up above. Okay, there are two receiving tabs here to receive these two. You start off to the my left, pull that in, and they will slide off to the right and clip in. And that's it. Gaskets in, looks happy. We can climb back under and install it. See if we can install this puppy. <coughs> Gas gets in. Let's double check it. Looks good. I'm just going to walk these screws in and then finish it with a hand wrench. Because everything's plastic under here, you don't want to break anything. I do not know what the torque setting is on these, so I'm not going to hang on them. Get them snug. 
and a little bit more. Okay, that should work. The one thing I'm going to do is push the, um, get this one recharged, fire it up, make sure this one's clear and ready to go. Um, if I did both filters and there's a problem, I wouldn't know if it was this filter change that was the problem or the one up front. So let's go up and do our six cycles on the ignition, which will turn the electric fuel pump on and refill this with fuel. Here some air in it.
Okay, that one slides out that way. And it pops off nice. They're all a little bit different. This is a blue one that slides different, but it slides out of the way. And that one pops off easy. These lines are pretty stiff. I don't trust them. There we go. And that's kind of weird that it did it that way. You would think those tabs would have pushed it in. Quite sure what I was doing wrong there. Okay, need to figure that out. We'll put the new filter in. All right, connect this off. Rotate. Rotate. <laughs> Rotate and lift. The new filter is a little tab at the bottom. Yeah. Rotate it till you feel it drop in. There we go. And that's that. Pull the safety cups off. One on. Cap off. One. This third one really got me confused. There we go. Yeah. The brown one was a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I thought it would be, but okay. All right, let's uh, turn the key on, charge that filter up. Keys on. You can hear the fuel moving through the filter. I'm going to shut it off, cycle it again. Sounds pretty good. All right. Clear off some of this stuff and we'll start her up. Key off. Key on. 